California native Brittany Alconis has lately been homeschooling her three children, eight and younger, on a blanket outside the White House, sometimes in blistering heat, part of her desperate bid to focus the attention of President Biden and the news media on the plight of her husband, 34-year-old Navy Lieutenant Ridge Alconis, also a California native. In July, Lieutenant Alconis began serving a three-year jail sentence in Japan for negligent driving following an automobile crash outside Tokyo 15 months ago that killed two Japanese citizens. Are you getting any cooperation from the Biden administration? I have not been able to speak to anyone. Lieutenant Alconis had his family in the car with him when they were driving home from an afternoon visit to Mount Fuji. Completely sober, he lost consciousness, a result of mountain sickness, his lawyer said, and plowed into several cars, killing two Japanese pedestrians. The judge found their altitude insufficient to support that claim and that Alconis, simply drowsy, should have pulled over. Similar fatal incidents involving Japanese-born motorists usually result in a suspended jail sentence. We've had some lower level communication with other people on our team, but the ask is always for Jake Sullivan, Secretary Blinken to call me directly. The State Department said U.S. officials are working quietly in Japan, where former White House Chief of Staff and Chicago Mayor Rahm Emanuel is now the U.S. Ambassador, to achieve a resolution consistent with U.S. law, Japanese law, and existing treaties binding the two countries. Ambassador Emanuel uh, has spoken with the Alconis family. He's spoken with members of Congress, uh, with his U.S. military counterparts, and uh, with Japanese government officials. Uh, Department of State officials here in Washington have also been in touch with uh, their Japanese counterparts uh, at the Japanese embassy here, and the embassy uh, in Tokyo is coordinating with the Department of Defense to provide all appropriate assistance. Through donations, the Alconis family has managed to pay the families of the Japanese victims the $1.65 million in restitution they demanded. But Brittany Alconis says she doesn't understand why the Biden administration isn't more engaged on the case. It seems like the DOD does not have the experience or the desire to do what we needed to get him from. Oh, those are beautiful. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I, I wish I knew. I wish I knew why they weren't doing that. Contacted by Newsmax and asked whether Lieutenant Alconis is receiving consular visits in Japanese prison, the Japanese embassy here in Washington did not respond. At the White House, James Rosen. Hey guys, it's Rob Carson. September is historically the worst performing month for the stock market, so you better be ready for it. The Fed continues to aggressively raise rates, and J.P. Morgan is forecasting another mega rate hike September the 21st. Is that why Jamie Dimon said an economic hurricane is coming our way? Well, gold and silver have remained remarkably stable despite the Fed aggressively raising rates today. The Patriot Gold Group has a special incentive for Newsmax viewers. Huge! Now precious metals investors can enjoy the No Fee for Life Gold and Silver IRA on qualifying rollovers or enjoy free, discreet, insured shipping on all direct gold and silver purchases. Here's the number, 800-356-4470. Call 800-356-4470 today.